Hello guys and welcome back to the Evil Dutch Empire Takes on the World. Where we last left off, Germany and Austro-Hungary have destroyed the Russian armies and forced them to capitulate. So, Russia is now out, the entire Eastern Theater is now out. So the Balkans will probably fall next, I hope, either that or Italy. Uh, I doubt much progress is going to be made on the Western Front, I... Because they're not going to send them all to the Western Front, are they? They're probably going to send them to here, and even then... No, they'll probably... Actually, yeah, they probably... They'll, I mean, with all that, they gotta be able to break through Serbia, right? Anyway, uh, our plans for Australia are about to kick in, except I'm about to cancel those plans for Australia, because I've had a lot of time to think about what I should do. Also, South America, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about you. I honestly did forget about you. So, off you go. Please feel free to take the rest of South America and all the resources along with them. That's 80... Aluminium and another 140 aluminium. So it's a lot for the Dutch and none for the Allies. Next thing I want to do is I'm doing a complete restructure, by the way. Next thing I want to do is change my divisions. So my men are severely lacking in artillery, and that is just hurting me. So no more artillery there. Uh, I could give them a recon company. Provides breakthrough and soft tech. Yeah, sure. And defense. So that's what I'm going to do. Taking off the artillery, so my men are not under pressure to make artillery. Not as much. So all, everyone can have the right amount of artillery, and there's not just a few with and some without. I think that it hurts more to have... To have the unit need artillery and not have it, than not have it at all. If that makes sense. You know. I hope you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm going to take the artillery away. I'm going to provide more guns. Because I need to have a stockpile. For God's sake, I am running desperately low on guns. Uh, so we can subs. That's fine. Uh, let's remove the Coast Guard. I just want infantry at this point. Uh, also, if I can, horses. Just going to do a quick upgrade on them. We'll give them a field hospital and give them one more cavalry. Alright, that's done. Now, I changed my plans for Australia. I decided that maybe... How many divisions was I send in? Seven? I've decided that seven divisions is not enough to take an entire continent. So instead, I'm going to send my men to quickly assist in New Guinea. who will take over this chunk and then hop from New Guinea to New Zealand. Because New Zealand is an island, not a continent. And New Zealand only has... How many troops? Between four and seven. Something actually manageable. So that's the plan. New Zealand, not Australia. So you guys, cancel your plans. Instead, I want you to make your way to here. Join up. Make a new front line to take the rest of the island. How's my fleet doing? 16 ships, all ready to go. I want to section off my subs. Because you're not going to be very helpful. So you guys have a separate order. You will be convoy raiding across here. And let's see. My main fleet will be convoy escorting. From... Hold on. From here, here, and here. Okay. Okay. And immediately you got into trouble. Goddamn, you just left port. How are you halfway across the world? And losing men. Well, whatever. They're probably on search and destroy or something. Also, something's going on. There are big dips in my frame rates. Right. So you go there. You go there. You go down here. And you go all the way up here. Okay. That is being done. We shall take off the aluminium. Some big events are going on. Oh, they're actually creating countries. There we go. We got Ukraine, we got uh, Lithuania, and we've got the United Baltic Duchy. And we have Soviet volunteers. Yes. I don't know why you're giving me volunteers, but I guess you hate the Allies more than you hate the people who just conquered you. So fine. We're doing well here. Got a strong defense. Oh no, they took Ghent. They're actually taking Dutch land. No, that. No, that's Belgium. It was Dutch land, though, goddammit! 
Try those German reinforcements. Oh, here they, here they are. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we can make a breakthrough in the Western Front. We shall see. We shall see. Oh. I've mistaken where they're going to come from. Convoy Escort. Convoy Escort, the Northern Pass. Like here. Yep, come in. <laughs> come in and save them. Don't let them take out my cavalry. You are going to save them, right? That is a cavalry division I don't want to lose. I can't afford to lose anyone in Asia. It's very important that I don't lose anyone in Asia. Trench warfare has been complete. Right. From this, what do I want? Get more national uni. I want this. This. I really want this. Let's go down here. Okay, no major breakthroughs going on. They've captured Venice. Italy has lost Venice. That should be a big breakthrough, but that I feel like that's the rest of mountainous regions. Venice was probably the easiest place it could take. Rolling city on Dutch soil. They get him a lot to think about. We have any we have air superiority over them. Most of my men are balled up in Antwerp, which I'm not complaining about. We definitely need to hold Antwerp. Is that bombarded? Shore bombardment, god damn it. That's something I can't contend with. Just gonna have to open that theater on that front. Okay, you're still making your way over. We did lose somebody, unfortunately. Uh, you can activate, actually activate your plans, so you can go. Might as well. Yeah, I've decided against attacking that continent. <laughs> I feel, in hindsight, it's probably the best decision I can make. Uh, yeah, we're still holding out. Don't. Don't lose. Germany, I want you to stop attacking. Can I tell my ally to stop attacking and just focus on defense? How many men have you lost, Germany? <laughs> Nearly three million! Oh, wow. Nearly three million. Okay. The British Raj has lost 600 men. Yeah, we don't even rival that. Like, even Austria-Hungary has lost more than the entire allies combined. Okay, research. What I need. Poison gas. No. Wait, actually, yes, that was actually pretty good. Um, what else I can get? A Lewis gun. Doctrine. Doctrine. Mm, doctrine is probably more important. Let's get some doctrine. I might go for the poison gas next, though. Okay, we did lose somebody there. Uh, where are you? They're sending so many infantry divisions out. They're actually invading properly. I can't really stop them. Okay, let's go convoy raid. Yeah, attack their convoys, attack their people. Hell, it might be better if you just come down from the north. Just cut them off immediately, then sweep in. <sighs> right, South America. We've taken South America. Good. So all I can do here is set a garrison for all of it. There we go. You're... The South American theater has been dealt with. We own a, actually a pretty decent chunk of South America. So there we go. Another successful front uh, for the Dutch. That increases. No, we're still 4% really. Only 4%. We're not doing a very good job at establishing ourselves in this war. Asia is an important fear for us, but not in the grand scheme of things. I mean, they took out Russia. I need to get more points. I need to prove myself a lot more. And I could do that by taking out New Zealand and some weaker nations in Asia. That might help. Okay, sorry about the lack of commentary, by the way. I'm focused. 
Uh, we're not... It's because we're on cavalry raiding that we're not properly engaging their fleets. Which is also a big problem. Maybe we should actually engage their fleets. Actively try to engage them. Fine. We'll go on patrol. Patrol the routes. So you can actually... I say that as a massive Japanese and British fleet turn up. Right. We need to change this. Focus on patrol in, in the straits. If you can get home. You seem to be in and out of that battle. A lot. Okay, we've actually cut off the Australians. Good. So your job is to set up an entire front line. And a defensive line here. Everyone focus on that defensive line. And go. So you can just focus on going there. And we can take out two Australians! Uh, that's actually a big victory. Well, this island is being taken over and I can't stop them. At all. How am I supposed to stop them? I've got two units. The rest of my forces are engaged in New Guinea. Japan might be able to take that island. It's disappointing to say so, but I don't think I can do much. I just keep glancing over at Europe and seeing disappointment. Like, at least our main land is holding guy made a giant trench beforehand. If I didn't have that trench, we probably would have lost a while ago. Although it doesn't even see if there's a... Is... Oh wait, there's still Belgian land! Huh. That didn't have much land, did they? There's still Belgian land, right. So the trenches are actually up here. We haven't reached the trenches yet. We're not in that much trouble. Field hospital. Uh, that's good to have, but I said poison gas next, because that provides a lot of breakthrough. Let's go for it. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do much about Japan. It's just gonna have to. It's how it's gonna have to be. Okay, focus on taking them down. It's a big victory! Two Australian divisions! And I can move on. If I can take just this port down here, I can pop over to Wellington, take out New Zealand, and there'll be another allied uh, person taken down, and that might count towards me. Luxembourg is gone! Wilhelm II has announced that the cowardly nation of Luxembourg can no longer stand the pressure. So there we go, Luxembourg is taken down. I guess we are making a little bit of progress. I wish I could push for, uh, for Belgium, but I, my troops have no... Organization at all. Not even regaining any. Because we're in combat. There's no let up in combat. I. They're just not giving me a break. My man can't even recover. It's that bad. There's not much I can do. I. Uh, we're kind of outmatched here. I'm fighting, like, superpowers. I mean, I'm the Dutch, you know, but there's not much I can really do at that point. Okay, you guys, this island might be doomed. I might need to just send you off to Singapore. Yeah. I'm gonna declare this island is dead. I There's no way I can hold it with my current forces. So you guys are being transferred to here. Please evacuate ASAP. Yeah. This is probably for the best. Just hold on to our main gains in Singapore. Okay. Your job, front line, there... Defensive line here. Go. Japan's just killing us in Asia. Because they can actually deploy men in Asia, you know? It's sort of a big advantage. If I can deploy men in Asia, I will be fine. Still holding Antwerp. We're actually, we did regain some of our organization. Probably in between all the fighting. The French are actually in low supply, probably because there's so many of them. Fighting one front. I'm keeping my men in low densities. There's no way I can supply. I barely supply what I have. There's no way I can supply anything else. Unassigned divisions. Okay. I'm going to need to actually exchange my general out for a field marshal. Okay, you guys join up. Good, get, get in there. Can't research that yet. I'm close to researching it, though. 
So I will go... Oh, I probably want Naval Doctrine. I haven't even gotten that yet. If I'm finding the sea, it's something I probably want. Where is my fleet? Where is my fleet? It's... Why are you up here? Like, come on. Like, come on, I told you, down here. Okay, now they're moving. My fleet has just been sat outside the Philippines. Letting the, them do God knows what to all of our men. There we go, finally some order has been brought back when the Dutch came in. Okay, whenever you're ready. Who are you? What what nation are you? Who am I fighting there? Tunisia? Oman? Who am I fighting? What flag was I don't even Where where did you go? Why are you running? Whatever. Whoever they were, it doesn't matter. It's not important. As long as I keep patrolling my islands, she'll be fine. Oh my god, we retook Brussels! Or Germany did, but I mean, we pro we if we didn't hold that line, it would have been totally different. Now we can hold the line in Brussels. We've retaken it. My men are actively attacking. Don't do that. Don't actively attack anything. Oh wait, I guess we did. If we was actively attacking them, we actively took Brussels. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Oh, wait, there's actually a decent front that we can get on. Attack there. Yes. Wipe them out. Knock them out of here. Let's get this bulge done. Although, we're never going to break through here. Oh, we might. Hold on, we might. If we if we throw Dutchmen behind us. If we actually throw some decent Dutch forces behind us. We break through. I'm actually committing troops to this. Because then we can cut off all these allied troops. Ah, oh, damn, it doesn't matter. They're all gone. Whatever. Never mind. Please proceed back to Antwerp. Do not let Antwerp fall. We have made progress, though. <laughs> I'm actually helping out in Europe. Something I didn't think I would be able to do. Right. Well, progress has been made. We're still advancing somewhat in Asia. Japan is really being a pain, though. Get this research done. What do I want? Lewis gun? Probably want the next Lewis gun. I do want armor. If I could get tanks, that would really help. Anyway, that's it for this part. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.